the gospel of saint john chapter 6 verses 25 to 29 jesus tells us about the bread of life in his long description about the bread of life jesus explains two things first the bread of life is the revelation of god second the bread of life is the body and blood of jesus which is the holy eucharist the holy eucharist has three aspects first it gives life second it is the sign of resurrection and third it means living with god very often we ask the question how can we believe the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist we can see the presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist only when we look with the eyes of faith in our day-to-day -day life we believe the words of trustworthy people when Reserve Bank governor signs on hundred rupees note we do not doubt the value of it because we can believe in it with regard to the Christians Holy Eucharist must be the core of his faith because Jesus said this is my body the bread of life Jesus has given this bread to us to live with us and to live in us the Holy Eucharist is considered as a source and summit of the life of the church. In order to be the source and summit of our lives, we have to actively participate in the Paschal mystery by sharing in Christ's death and resurrection. The Eucharist is considered to be the source and summit of Christian life because it expresses Christ's love for us in a supreme manner. The human life centers on love. The history of man could be read as an unending quest for love. To love and to be loved is the goal of every man's striving. The Eucharist shows the way to authentic love. Love consists in self-giving. And that is what Christ has done in the Eucharist. Holy Eucharist is the source and summit of our lives because it is a sign of unity and charity. It is universally accepted fact that for people everywhere, a meal is more than a means of regaining one's strength and energy. By sharing a meal, we wish to express that we share our lives. We must approach the Holy Eucharist with a consciousness that we are one with the fellow beings. We need to be in communion with our sisters and brothers. Through the celebration of the Eucharist, we must learn how to drop social and personal prejudices caste, cultural and other barriers. This oneness must be actively demonstrated in our own communities, working places, places of study and among our relatives and friends. Dear friends, so let us ask the Lord to make us understand the real value of Eucharist in our lives and to reciprocate this love by making the Eucharist the real source and summit of our lives. Amen.